Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I did receive my BoxyCharm in the mail and I did use all the products I received for this look today and I'm going to do a demo style instead of a talk through. Also if you would like to join BoxyCharm it starts at $21 a month and I'll leave a link below. So if you would like to see all the products that I got this month please so for the month of June, the Boxy Charm theme was Downtown Charm. And the first thing I received in the box was this Real Hurt Playbook. I got the Shadow Palette in the version 3. This is a cooler with some plummy shades palette. Here I am swatching you guys each row so that you guys can see that um, the color payoff wasn't that great. It was just okay. Especially the deep plummy shade was probably the best payoff. And this eyeshadow palette does retail for $28. So to start my look today, I'm going to be starting with the shade Incomparable. It is a matte light brown and I'm using it as my transition shade. Next, I'm going in with the shade Enchanting. This is um, a matte, light lavender shade. And I'm just going in right over that previous shade that I have put down as my transition. So today, I want to create a halo eye. And so I'm going to just focus the colors just on the inner corners like inner third of my eyelid and the outer corners of my eyelid and to deepen this look I'm going in with the darkest shade called divine and I'm going it right over the previous shade not all the way on the top but focusing it more on the inner corners and the outer corners of my eyes It is always easier to get a little of the shadow first and build up instead of grabbing a lot and then it's really difficult to blend it out. So here I am just taking my time and slowly blending out the eyeshadow until I like it. Next, I'm using the shade Impeccable. This is the shimmer dark purple shade in the palette and that's going in right in the center of my eyelid. For a halo look, I like to use a, a, a shimmery shade to have it pop in the centers of my eyes and the darker shades on the outer corners. I'm going back in with a big um, blending brush and just blending those two shadows together so there's no harsh lines and then I'm going back in with that dark shade divine and deepening the shadow sometimes it's easier to just start with a little and then after you finish a little go back and build it up Next, I'm going in with that matte light purple shade called Enchanting and I'm going to build up the shadows under my eyes. Then I'm going back in with the darkest shade Divine and focusing that on the outer corner and the inner corners of my eyes. And lastly, I put on the shade Impeccable, just right at the centers of my eyes. The next thing that I received in this month's BoxyCharm is this Aesthetica Highlight and Blending Brush in H22. This retails for $21. 
I also received this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Conceited. It is a powder form highlight. So I'm picking up this loose powder with the highlight brush and this powder is so pigmented. You only need a little and it goes a long way. The next thing that I got in this month's box is Ofra's Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tuscany. This retails for $19.90. They are so long lasting and the formula is so creamy. It is not transfer proof but it feels so comfortable on the lips. The last item that I received from this month's BoxyCharm are these three sheen masks by BioBell Cosmetics. It retails for $14.97. It came in three different kinds of sheet masks. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys!